Sacramento based organization prepares for one of its biggest days. Every year for the holidays, Hosea Helps feeds people who need but can't afford a good meal. This year, the food comes in the midst of a pandemic, of course, and widespread unemployment. CBS 46's Fred Campagna has the story. This year, Hosea Helps faces an even bigger challenge. The plan is to fill more than 2,000 of these boxes with food. And for over the past week, volunteers have been out here every day packing these boxes in hopes of making someone's Thanksgiving a little bit brighter. Seven, eight, nine, the Hosea Helps Thanksgiving dinner has been an Atlanta tradition for 50 years. This year, because of the pandemic, it's going to look a lot different. At the World Carving Center, we can't be inside. So we have like a drive through parking lot thing that we're doing, and then we have a walk up for the homeless people. Instead of a hot meal, food boxes, bags, hygiene kits, and PPE will be handed out between 10 and 2 on Thursday. And getting everything ready in time has been tough. Most of our projects now have to be done outside for the uh, social distancing, and we also have the mask and the gloves we provide. But most of it, it's, it's very difficult, but we're still getting it done. It's been a tough year for everybody, so you know I'm here to just do God's work. Jacquia Maxi is one of the volunteers dedicating most of her past week to helping out. The work is monotonous, but she's always thinking about those who will benefit. Really just think about the families that is going to, uh, the cause of it all. Um, I think about what I've been through and me not having food and being able to have someone to help you in the time of need. This Thanksgiving food drive is just the first of three big events in the coming months for Hosea Helps. The same will happen on Christmas and on MLK Junior Day. And if you want to get involved and volunteer, we have put a link on how to do that on our website, cbs46.com. In Atlanta, Fred Campagna, CBS 46. Fred.